Have you ever lived such a life where you're locked up somewhere and you see dudes walking around with Monopoly $500 bills? Like that sh real money. Yeah, boy, when I was at, hey, boy, hey, hey, boy, when I was, when I was, when I was out there. <laughs> when you were out there, I, I, I'm following. You were walking around with fake Monopoly money and $500 bills? Oh shit, you was doing it! I had this video idea come to mind because of a severe sunburn that I've just recently acquired. I went to the beach over this past weekend and got smoked. Had sunblock on, but obviously it wasn't enough. Had a traumatic experience when I was a child where I had a severe sunburn and accidentally got wasp killer spray sprayed all over my stomach that had that severe sunburn and had such an allergic reaction to that I ended up in the emergency room. I only share that with you, well, because I just had another allergic reaction this morning when I put some lavender essential oil on my stomach. Where's the aloe vera? But it's all of that that brings us to today's video that I want to share with you guys, and that is about some of the dumbest things that you can get in trouble for while in prison. Joe, how the f does any of that got to do with this video? Well, the re wait, look, uh, the reason this video idea came to mind is because of, well, the number one thing that I'm going to share with you in this video. But before we get into that, I've got five things on this list that I consider some of the dumbest, stupidest things that you can get in trouble for in prison. Now, there is a boatload, probably unlimited dumbass things that you can get in trouble for while in prison. And ultimately, I'm going to leave out quite a bit in this video. However, if while watching this, any ideas come to mind that you can think of, comment down below and let us know some dumb things that you know of people can get in trouble for while in prison. So it's with all of that being said that what do you say we go ahead and we... I wish I knew how to do sign language. I don't. And that was probably in poor taste. The dime's got to be close though, right? Head first up into this video. No disrespect with that right there, neither. I always try to do a different dive, okay? So, you know, it, maybe it was in poor taste. I apologize if it was, but at least respect. Put some spec on my creativity now. Put some spec on that shit. Stupid things you can get in trouble for. Number one, taking your shirt off on the rec yard. Remember that whole talk about the sunburn? Well, the only reason you can get a sunburn is if you take your shirt off. I mean, you can get parts that aren't covered by the shirt burnt as well, but taking your shirt off on the rec yard here in the state of Virginia, that's a big effing no-no. Them girls ain't really trying to see all them muscles that you got walking around looking like a bottle of muscle milk. Who you think you are? GQ or Muscle Magazine? Like, uh, who you think you are? A GQ or Muscle Magazine centerfold? Some of them dudes. No, no, no craziness intended with this statement, but damn, yo, they look like some some muscle mania models. I don't know why that's a rule. Like, maybe it's the guy guards who made up that rule. Like, yo, them dudes ain't gonna be out there taking their shirt off, stunting on them ladies like that, when all the guards looking like me in the physical appearance got the big old, I wanna show y'all this sunburn so bad. Damn, I wanna show you this sunburn. You wanna see it? You wanna, see, you wanna leave a like on the video? You will. Shit, show that my boy, oh, joke. <laughs> what? I'm not wearing a wire. I'm not wearing a wire at all. Abracadabra. Yeah, that money's uh, lobster colored right there. It hurts like a bitch, too. Not gonna lie. Maybe that's the reason. They don't want you to get a sunburn. They're looking out for your own good. But them ladies, though, whoo, if the ladies ruled the world, which in most cases they do, um, they probably allow the dudes to walk around with no shirts on. But taking your shirt off, that shit can get you sent to the hole here in the state of Virginia. And, you know, if anybody knows why that's a rule, please comment and let me know. Is it because you could potentially have gang or offensive tattoos that might actually be one of the reasons or maybe they don't want you putting your sweaty back all over the all over the all over the weight machine maybe it's some sort of a like a sanitary hygiene type of a deal i i don't i don't know number two on this list such a stupid and silly thing to get in trouble for and i've seen plenty of people get in trouble for it 
gambling in prison. Like, what, what gives, right? Like, what is the big deal? So what? So what? I took a couple of dollars that my prison pin pal sent me, and I bet it on the NASCAR ticket, and I lost it, and I had to jump back on the phone and call her and tell her, hey, yo, I need you to send that. Did you send that? Because my life is in jeopardy. Oh, yeah, that's right, because of the violence that could possibly come from the gambling. That actually makes sense. However, you know, when you're in the moment and you're doing time and you're bidding and you want to play poker, but they don't sell playing cards because they don't want you to be able to play poker, but yet they give you a monopoly board with fake money. Have you ever, you, have you ever lived such a life where you're locked up somewhere and you see dudes walking around with monopoly $500 bills? Like, that shit is real money. Yeah, boy, when I was out, hey, boy, hey, hey, boy, when I was, when I was, when I was out there. <laughs> when you were out there, I, I, I'm following, you were walking around with fake Monopoly money and $500 bills? Oh, shit, you was doing it. You know, you'll have some guards that won't care. So you can get out on the, out on the picnic table type of a, uh, steel table in the center of the day room if they've got those wherever you're at or maybe it's a picnic table sort of a deal like a wooden thing i don't know maybe it's plastic and you can put your blanket down and you can come out there with the manila envelopes and folders that you cut up into a deck of 52 and play you some cards but when the wrong guard is on you got to put that shit away real quick you got to hide that parlay ticket and all of that because if they catch you with it they're going to take it away they're going to give you a charge and they could lock you up and then that's going to be its own world of problems you got all these other prisoners' money and commissary tied up in the kitty. And the guards then came in and took that shit away. Now, what kind of sense does that make Officer Dookie stay? You're going to take all this money and all this commissary that don't belong to me because I ain't got a receipt to show you that I bought all of this shit. And you know damn well that these are wagers on bets and if you take this, I'm dead. But do your job. Do your job. Will guys fight in prison behind gambling? Yeah, of course they will. But they'll fight in prison over the, over the Miss America patch. I told you, Ecuador should have won. Ah. Hey, yo, back shower, you good? <laughs> it's kind of what that sounded like. Number three, here's a real doozy of something that you can get in trouble for. Now, it's going to take a certain creed and caliber of prison guard to actually even give you a charge for this. But you're going to know that certain creed and caliber of a guard when they walk by and they mention that they could write you a charge for what you're doing. And what I'm talking about is making a prison meal. That's right, folks. If you take a ramen noodle soup in prison and you take a tub cheese little scoop, little summer sausage and some pickle juice, and you mix that shit together, they refer to that as altering, altering state property or some dumb shit like that. No bullshit. You can get a charge for taking one item and mixing it with another. Because that was not the way that they sold it to you. That's not what its intended purpose was for. Then what the f*** was I supposed to do with this butt ball baby face ramen noodle beef pack? What was I supposed to do? Eat this bitch solo by herself with a bunch of, with a tub of water? That will actually fill you up if that's all you got. The more water you add, the less hungry you'll be. It works. Just add water. Yeah, you'll have these DEM effort type of guards walking by, talking about, hey, yo, what y'all doing over here? Okay, okay, what y'all doing over here? Y'all making a meal? What y'all making? What y'all making? Y'all making one of them joints like I seen on YouTube from that amazing prison YouTuber, Mr. 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 Joe Guerrero and, and after prison show. I'm gonna start talking like touching two times Tommy right there. But what y'all making? Y'all making a prison meal though? No. Is that a burrito or a log or a wrap? Yeah, I learned a couple of things from you. You know you ain't supposed to do that, right? I could write you a charge right now. Your entire life and your good time is in my hands right now, and I'm watching you. I'm watching you. You better, you better figure out a way to separate that, that tub cheese from that ramen noodle right now. You know that is illegal. You have now made a ghost ramen noodle, like a 3D printed AR-15. That shit doesn't even exist anymore. You don't scratch the serial number right off of that ramen noodle soup. I could put you, I could put you in segregated housing for that. You ever had a situation take place like that? You know, you gonna stay. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna, you gonna social distance from that guard anytime that you see him. Mahundo, floor is wet for real. With this dude coming in talking about, he gonna write you a charge for adding cheese to a noodle. 
Where'd they do that at? Prison. Hence this topic for this video. I'm not going to pay these flies no more, but if you fly in my eye, I swear you got one time to fly in my eye. Y'all ever see me with a black eye on these videos, you're going to know why, because I done took care of that. Bing! They are all around the ring light. One? Well, one's all I see right now, but there were like three a minute ago. You want to talk about taking your entire man card away? Coming in at number four on this list, watching the TV, your TV, that you might have paid over $250 to acquire when you think about your splitter and your extendo for your, for your headphones and your headphones. Maybe you was able to buy a remote for that money. There's one right there. Take your whole man card away when they say lockdown, lights out, turn the TVs off and go to sleep. Why? We don't have anywhere to be tomorrow. It's not like we got to get up and go to work. Not only... Can you get in trouble in some institutions for, and, and, and mind you, let me mention, mention this as well. Some of y'all might be hearing this like, Joe, what the, like they didn't do that where I was at. Well, maybe Virginia's different, okay? Virginia be on some shit. And I know that there's other states that are just like this. So I know not in every state will these apply. And again, hey, if it don't apply, let it fly. But if you know some other stupid things, comment down below. Not only will they come by if they see you, this was, this was prevalent at Indian Creek. After lights out, yo, your TV had to go off. Unless you had a cool guard on or it was like a NBA Finals or something like that. But let them come by and see you watching that TV and it's lights out and your ass is supposed to be going to sleep. Yo, how you gonna be a grown man TTG thug life for life? You a convict, you ain't no inmate. And you got this dude who's 18 years old because now they're hiring guards at 18. Coming by, this motherfucker don't even got a mustache. Talking about, hey, yo, excuse me, hey, unk, hey, unk, I'm going to need you to cut that TV off. Boy, son, don't make me sun you up in here. Just because you got that badge don't mean I won't, well, I'll put you over my knee is what you're going to be wanting to say, but you better not. Because not only can they write you a charge and take you to isolation behind that, they could take that TV away from you too. Oh my God, you got put on timeout at 38 years old. And you wonder why dudes come home from prison f***ed up. Because you're treating dudes like children. But sometimes, sometimes that's how you got to treat us. Now, another thing that you can get in trouble for in relation to the TV, and I actually like this rule. I'll actually tell the guards if you are breaking this rule sometimes. Guard, hey, guard, hey, he ain't doing, hey, shut that shit up, man. Ain't nobody trying to hear that dumbass shit you listening to down there. What is that? What is that? Some house music? This ain't DC. No disrespect. I like DC. Just don't care for the, what's that, mu that music called that they listen to in DC? You know. Comment down below because I can't remember. Watching the TV without headphones in. You know, in some prison, when you buy a TV, they take the speakers out of it. They perform a a, not a C-section, what's that thing called? The, a vasectomy on your television before you even get it. They done neutered your television. You couldn't even take that thing home and watch it if you wanted to without the headphones in. You better learn how to do sign language and read some lips. Dog, you paid $250 in prison for this. Bitch don't even make no noise. There's one final thing that I want to include on this list, and like I've mentioned a few times throughout this, there's many other things that could have made this list. Uh, but the final thing that I want to wrap this up on is working out. You can actually get in trouble for working out. Uh, sometimes that can be working out inside of the housing unit. Sometimes it can be so hot outside that they don't want you working out. How are you going to tell a grown man what he can do? Right? But this is prison, and that's all they do is tell grown men and women what they can and can't do, mostly what they can't do. Now, I mentioned this, and this one's kind of mundane, but look, I'm gonna add some interest to this. You know, there's so many rules in prison in relation to working out. For example, some prisons don't have any weights at all. Some prisons may have weights, and those weights may be welded to the, to the bar because they don't want you taking that 45 or that 10 or that 15 or that 20 pound plate and smacking somebody upside of the head. Because I can guarantee you, I've heard about it happening a million times. I've never actually physically seen it happen. But I guarantee you, that has happened in prison at least 1,000 times. That somebody has gotten the shit smacked out of them. The straight shit, the shit straight smackerooed right up out of them with a weight or a bar or a dumbbell 
of some sort. Some prisons won't have any weights at all. They might just have a pull-up bar, calisthenics, a dip bar. Some prisons might have universal machines. Some prisons might have steps inside of the housing units where prisoners want to do pull-ups on. Don't be doing pull-ups on the steps. Don't let me catch you doing pull-ups on the steps again. I'm gonna write you a charge for that. Gentlemen, there's no working out inside of the housing units. Put your shirts back on. Some prisons you can't even walk around with your shirt off even in the housing unit. But the most important reason why I mention the working out thing that you can get in trouble for, and you know, some prisoners might try to make weight bags or put magazines and books inside of bags like a laundry bag or a mesh bag, your commissary bag, to try to make, you know, weighted bags. You can get in trouble for that. That's contraband, eh? That's destruction of state property right there. But the reason I wanted to mention the working out for the third time is because I kind of feel like in some prisons, you can get in trouble for being too big. I know it sounds crazy. Joe, what are you talking about? You're batshit crazy. You been sniffing fruit flies out in that shed? Maybe. You know, you think about why some prisons don't have the weights, and of course, number one is probably because of the violence, or maybe that's the excuse that they use. But there's this urban myth, this urban legend, bit of a wives tale, except not a lot of prisoners have a little bit of a rumor that I had always heard throughout the time that I was serving. And that was, you know, these prisons, they don't have weights or they don't want you working out or they'll write you a charge or a ticket or a disciplinary infraction or institutional fine because they don't want you getting too big. That's what she said. But think about that in a place where you don't have nothing but time on your hands. What else are you going to do? A lot of guys do nothing short of workout 24 seven, multiple times a day. These dudes are walking around looking like incredible Hulk action figures. And if ever there's an uprising or upheaval amongst them and the staff, <laughs> bitch, you better have a gun. That's just going to look like a Marvel movie trying to corral those wild ponies, so to speak. You know, I always thought that I would be a poet at some point. I could have done spoken word or probably stand up. I'd probably be well suited for both of those. But that's where we're going to end this at. And I'll be very curious to hear what all of you think and have to say. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment on this. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace!